Hi guys, my name is Janelle and I'm going to give you a little walk through our um, Home on Wheels, the schoolie. So this front part here, um, we just, we wanted to keep it original. Um, so we really didn't do anything up here other than put the shiplap up here in the top and a little bit of decorations. We put some stickers over there. And we even wanted to keep the door original. We just liked it that way. And so when we put the floors in, we um, ended it right here. So we have storage for our shoes right as you come in. Um, everything works, like the fans all work great. Um, all these knobs, I don't drive it, so I don't know what all they do, but everything works great up here. And um, these are our sofas. We got these at Ikea. We chose these for a couple of reasons. One, they fold down into a bed. Pull this one down and show you. And it's really easy to do. Like this, and like that. And then we just put mattress cover on it and some sheets. And then the seat belts are tucked underneath so we can pull those out easily so that we can I'll be wearing seat belts while we're going down the road. We have three sets on each side. The curtains here, um, they are not hemmed because I wasn't sure on the length. So I wanted to go ahead and hang them up and we put in these curtain rods that I think I got at Target and did that all on the front part throughout the kitchen. And as you can see here, we have a lot more material because we wanted to, you know, put them throughout the whole bus. But behind these curtains, we have this really thick um, material just because it helps so much with blocking the heat and the sun. So, you know, at nighttime, it helps with just privacy of people being able to see it. Um, and then right here, we have one of our mini splits. We actually have two in the bus. And um, the other part is mounted underneath the bus. And we'll show you that here in a little bit. But these, um, do a great job they work really really well in fact we usually just use the one we just run the one to, to cool the whole thing and it's done great and they also heat it so this is our little kitchen area um, we wanted to put some built-in cabinets here but um, the guy that was building them for us actually got sick in the middle of the building process and we had a trip plan so what we did for a temporary and then we just left it that way because it was working great was we have a couple of chests of drawers and that was for you know food storage and whatever we needed and there's some stackable um, tubs right here this butcher block and it's perfect to put bar stools underneath so um, yeah I think it would still be great to do built-ins especially if you wanted to put in a sink um, and but we didn't want to put the sink in since this is just temporary we didn't want to put a hole in this the butcher block and put a sink in and that's that's all bolted in so yes those chest of drawers are bolted to the floor and that's all bolted to the floor and the wall and everything so and it's, even on it's the sofas i didn't mention there's like steel rod running throughout and that was the other reason we chose these one was because they and we also put the l brackets these are mounted to the frame yeah oh, yeah sorry no that's interrupt. great um josh my husband is filming and he made sure that everything in here was extremely secure and sturdy so there's no creaking or moving um, and so, yeah, that was his, something he felt was really, really important, which I agree. Um, here's our oven. We went with a full size oven cause we're a family of seven and it's uh, hooked up to propane right now. And so it's a gas, um, cook stove and we have storage. We would just use this to store, um, some dishes and pans, but we also have some storage underneath for that. And just keep, you know, silverware and whatnot up, up here. And then here's our refrigerator. It's the largest size we could fit in here. Again, we wanted to be able to stock it and not be stopping and you know eating out, but have plenty of room to keep food for quite some time in here. And then up above it, there's a little bit more storage, keep some plates and bowls, and it doesn't slide around. And then back here we have our double bunk beds. We have four sons and a daughter. And so this was the boys area and then when Josh comes back for you'll be able to see, but we have just some little cubbies and a little thing for their books and toys, some Legos. Um, and then the older two are at the top and they have a little, little thing for there, just a little storage. And then usually they would put a backpack in the corner 
Um, and then there's extra storage underneath here that we could put some other clothes in and stuff. Um, and this is our daughter's area. She was a baby when we first built out the bus. She's six and she still fits there, but just barely. If you didn't need this for a sleeping area, um, in my opinion, it would be great to turn into extra storage. Um, you could even do some hanging on one side if you wanted to, especially if you were doing full time or long trips, build some shelves or whatever you wanted to do. And then here's the other mini split right here. And then right through here is our bathroom. I'll let Josh show you that. So we've got a, a composting toilet. It's a, a nature's head composting toilet. Um, so we don't have any uh, sewage lines or anything like that at our sewage tanks. Our goal in here was we were gonna put a shower and I'll try to get this floor so you guys can see this. Um, now it's going out of focus. So the goal was to put a shower right where that toilet is. So it would fit almost perfect. And then the toilet goes right here, um, but we just never got that, that far in the build out. And for us, a shower wasn't a big priority because we usually had access to a shower nearby um, whenever we would um, camp or stay with family, stay near family. And then back here is, I guess, the master bedroom. Let's check it back. So this is a queen size bed. Uh, we built it to fit the queen queen size bed just perfect. Um, and then also we don't have we have that base curtain layer up we don't have the decorative curtains installed that's what all those are for up front and um and didn't you say the chest of drawers fits back here I had just them back perfect here. Mm -hmm. before we put them up there to put the butcher block on they actually fit back there um, and we had them back here the bottom drawer is just not accessible because um, it's behind the mattress, but the top three drawers are. So those, those chest of drawers that we have up front uh, that we were using for the kitchen area, those are the ones we're talking about. We were either going to put those in here or do build custom cabinets or something like that for that area. Um, but for right now, we just keep tubs right there for clothes and things like that. And then the back door is right there. You can actually get out through the back door right there. And then you can access it underneath the bed also. Yeah, so this is our kind of our storage area. Uh, the garage area, if you will, we keep tools. You see we've got some firewood and, and stuff like that, our folding chairs. So this is great storage for, for things like that, fishing poles and, and things like that when we're traveling. You can access that from right here and then you can access it. You can see the back door back there. You can access it from the outside also. So that makes it pretty convenient. All right, so that's a quick tour of the inside and um, we'll show you around the outside now. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is the tread on these tires is still really good. That was kind of a, a big a big deal with me was uh, how, how good shape those tires were. And then back here we've got our generators. These are the Honda UE 2000s. Uh, you can run these independently of each other, so you can run one at a time or you can run them both together parallel. Uh, there's a cable that goes between them. So when you're running them together, if this one is is got more uh, draw on it, it will balance the load. Um, and you can go read up on these. These are some of the best generators on the market, some of the quietest generators on the market. That was one of the biggest reasons we wanted these. And um, they put off more than enough power to um, to power our two AC units, uh, refrigerator, and everything else we got in there. So we, this, this is plenty of power for everything on the inside. And these things fire right up. And then this is a five gallon uh, external gas can that I just hooked up temporarily. So there's one gallon uh, internal tank on both of these. So there's a total of seven gallons. And these things are very, very fuel efficient. So we can we can go a couple days of running everything in this before we'll use all this gas up here. Um, and we run these going down the road and they do really, really well going down the road. Um, and one of the things we talked about doing was building a box. Yeah, so to put them I, in, I just... really wanted to mount these underneath. That was one of my goals was to get a cage, um, cages built underneath, and I was gonna mount these underneath. And then instead of this can here, I was gonna do an actual external um, gas tank 
and mount that underneath like a you know 10 or 20 gallon tank underneath so we could run these for a long long time before we needed to fill back up so here's the other set of back tires you can see really good tread on those and then these are the outside units for the mini splits so uh, this is three quarter inch angle iron i've bolted this to the and mounted these to the frame here uh, these are these are in there they're not moving they've done really really well and then I put a mud flap up here for any debris going down the road. And it is served really well as far as protecting those. This one's actually running right now. I don't know if you can even hear it. Um, these are super, super, super quiet. And um, and like I said, we run these while we're going down the road with those generators. And they do really good. We haven't had any problems whatsoever. And I apologize, that strap is just a temporary strap there. I need to get, I need to get that mount put on top to, to keep it from moving around and vibrating. Uh, the big concern was, was there enough airflow here? And um, and I had an AC guy look at it, and he said there's plenty of airflow there. It's actually doing really well. So, so these these are some really 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 good units, and I've listed all the details on the website there. You can go read up on those and, 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 and learn more about those. I think it's starting to rain. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it.